This is the cat I call Cheetah. He lives with the brothers and priests in the Society of St. Paul in our media center at Canfield, Ohio. Cheetah's a good cat. Cheetah has a four-word vocabulary. Meow, meaning, feed me. Meow, meaning, let me out. Meow, meaning let me in. And meow, please do one of the above. Now Cheetah's pretty bright, pretty smart, very affectionate. Aren't you, Cheetah? However, he doesn't like me putting on flea collars. He doesn't get it. I explained to him that it's all herbal, non-toxic, earth-friendly, and it'll keep the ticks and fleas off him. But you don't understand it, do you, Cheetah? Not in the least. No, he just wants it off and wonders why I put this thing around his neck. I've been over and over it with him, but he just doesn't get it. Now he has 10 billion brain cells, pretty impressive. I have 100 billion, so there's a gap between the two of us that's hard to overcome. But you can imagine how much greater the gap is between my mind and the mind of God. The mind of God that keeps on its course 100 billion galaxies and at the same time keeps in mind the world of the itsy bitsy, the subatomic particles, and yet still has time to keep me and you in mind. What a gap. And we understand that we don't understand. We don't know the meaning of suffering, can't figure it out. God tries to explain it to us just as I try to explain the flea collar to Cheetah, but he doesn't get it and we don't get it. In the book of Job, we have a man questioning God and he had a right to. He lost his wealth, his children, and his health. But in the end, God says, I have a few questions to ask you, Job. How many fish are in the sea? How many birds are in the sky? How many stars are in the heavens? And Job says, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And God says, if you can't understand these things, how can you understand the mystery of human suffering? I think when we're before the throne of God for 50,000 years, we'll have the vocabulary to begin to understand that awesome mystery. And until then, I hope that you and I both will rest in the arms of God comfortably, just as Cheetah the Cat trustingly rests in my arms. May God bless you, and may you know that in your suffering, you are not alone.